Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at my palettes. And this isn't eyeshadow palettes, this is special palettes. This is highlighter and contour palettes and blush palettes. If you'd like to see my eyeshadow palettes video, I'm not quite sure what order they're coming in, but just click the little bell and subscribe. That way you'll be notified of that video and my other future videos. Well, let's get down to this. These are my absolute favorite highlighter, contour, and blush palettes of 2017. The first is the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2 palette. Absolutely love this palette. It's highlights and contours and eyeshadows. It has one of my absolute favorite highlighters of all time. It is this candlelight powder. Here it is. You can see it's kind of a beautiful, beautiful translucent, kind of a shimmery highlight. And I use this right here. I call it in my Frankenstein divots. As we get a little bit more mature, we can lose fat on our face and I tend to be losing some volume right here but this is the perfect color just to fill that in. This is an absolutely beautiful highlighter for the tops of your cheekbones, a little bit along your nose, and down on the cupid's bow. Absolutely gorgeous highlighter. In fact, that's what makes me love this palette so much is this iconic highlighter. It's absolutely fabulous. And the sculpting powder is good too. I really like that as well. It has a powder contour and a powdered highlighter, and then it has the cream versions of the same. However, I don't like that aspect of this palette because these creams aren't covered and they get a little bit of the powder in them, which I don't love, but I primarily use the powders anyway. Then the palette has this wonderful series of eyeshadows down here. The first is, again, a beautiful brow color here. And there's a wonderful lid color, little kind of a peachy, shimmery nude, light shimmer. And then there's a wonderful transition color, nice neutral brown. And then there's a beautiful burgundyish brown color, which is a wonderful accent color for that V area. Fabulous palette here. Absolutely love this one. Now, the next palette, you would have to be under a rock to not know how much I love this palette. This is the Hourglass Contour and Highlight Palette. And here it is. It is absolutely a gorgeous palette. One of the best things about this palette is they give you complete instructions here on how to use every single bit of this palette. These two are powders, both a light and a dim version, depending upon your skin tone. Here is that beautiful, beautiful highlighter. See that? Absolutely subtle and wonderful. And then here is a wonderful bronzer. They call it a bronzer. However, I think it's a wonderful shade to use right under your cheekbones as a contour. In fact, I really prefer this to other contours because this is so nice and subtle. It does not leave me with the chocolate bars under my cheekbones, which I really appreciate that. Then it has two gorgeous tones of blush. Here is this wonderful kind of a peachy tone. Very, very natural looking and subtle. And the blush has a little bit of a highlighter in it too, which I really appreciate. Then it has a more raspberry version of the blush. Here it is, absolutely gorgeous. And again, it has a little bit of a shimmery highlighter in there, which just gives you a luminous, kind of a glowy finish on those blushes. And it is absolutely wonderful. This is an expensive palette. It's actually kind of a bargain when you think about how much these high-end hourglass products actually cost separately. Now this third palette is actually something my niece turned me on to. You may remember that she and I did a video together of kind of weird beauty products. She works at Ulta and she brought those products over and we had a ball one Saturday morning looking at those products. And she actually brought this as her eyeshadow and that's what got me into this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Highlighter Palette. And here it is, and that one keeps falling out, unfortunately. It has powdered contour and highlighters on one side, and then it has the cream on the other with a little mirror separating them. And I really like that. To separate off the creams is good so you don't get powder in your cream. I actually use this side of it totally for eyeshadows. Wonderful little brow color or highlighter. Here is a nice lid color, a little shimmery, but it's a nice kind of subtle shimmer, so even us more grown-up women can get away with that. And here is a beautiful little natural transition color. And then here is a more warm version of that brownish color too. I don't tend to wear that one. It's a little too warm for me. I really prefer this. And this is the wonderful contour shade as well. So you have highlighters here and contours here. But I have to admit that I love this palette so much. I use it not only for the contour and highlighters, but I usually use it for eyeshadows as well. And here are the same contour and highlighters in cream versions. I don't really use the creams too much. I need to get into that a little more, but it is nice to have, especially if you like an occasional cream highlighter or contour. Now this third little highlighter and contour palette I have had since the beginning of my YouTube channel, and I absolutely love it. It's about the first contour and highlighter palette I have, and to me it's one of the best ones. 
It's a Smashbox palette and it comes with a wonderful little contour or highlighter brush and I use this with a palette and it is a good quality brush. And basically here you have a wonderful dark contour here for under the cheekbones, under the chin, that kind of thing. Then you have a wonderful little bronzer here, a little warmer to use in the areas where the sun would hit you along the forehead, tops of cheekbones. And here is the highlighter here and it's very natural tone highlighter. It's a matte highlighter, doesn't have any shimmer, but it is a wonderful little kit here. Very, very easy to use and very reasonable in price. Now the next little palette I have is the It Cosmetics It's Your Beauty palette and it has four of their top selling products. I really appreciate that. Here is a beautiful peachy tone blush and it is in their iconic color, Je ne sais quoi. Absolutely a beautiful color. And here is their Vitality Matte Bronzer wonderful bronzer color, followed by a highlighter here, which is their Hello Light Cream Radiance Highlighter, absolutely a gorgeous little highlighter. And this is their Bye Bye Pores Press Powder, all of these products are available for individual sales. So this is really an excellent buy if you're into high-end quality cosmetics. This palette just gives you wonderful IT Cosmetics quality and great colors. Absolutely a wonderful highlighter, contour, and blush palette. Now I have two more products to show you. They're both drugstore products. The first is this Maybelline Master Contour. Absolutely love this one. It is a contour here, very nice contour, very subtle contour, something like that. And then here is the blush color, which is kind of a peachy pink that would go with just about any lipstick you have on. And then a wonderful little highlighter here. There it is. It has a little bit of shimmer, but it's really very natural and lovely. And this is absolutely perfect because you do a little contour under here, then you do the blush on the cheekbone and the highlighter over the cheekbone. These are pigmented, but they're also very blendable. You won't get a clown look. It, it blends out very beautifully on your face. Now, the last little palette I have here is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. This is absolutely a beautiful little palette and it has pretty much everything you would need to create any makeup look. You have some shimmery blushes, you have some matte blushes, you have two baked blushes over here. Those are those two baked blushes which are filled with beautiful shimmer, absolutely lovely. And then you have this kind of a hot pink tone, which I really appreciate, followed by some corals and there's a matted out kind of a pink tone, but look at that pigmentation on that. That is absolutely phenomenal. And then here is one that has a little bit more of a brick look to it. It's kind of a pink with a little bit of orange mixed into it. So basically you have everything you need in this palette from your pinks to your corals, to your naturals, to your shimmers. Absolutely perfect drugstore palette. Well, that's a look at my 2017 winners in the contour, highlight, and blush categories. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that little bell. That will just notify you of my future videos. I've got 2017 favorites in beauty tools, makeup, eyeshadow palettes, a full range of makeup items I think you'll enjoy. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I have a new card deck here called the Louise Hay I Can Do It cards, and I've just drawn from these one other time, kind of interesting cards. I can do it. I think that is about motivation and feeling powerful and feeling positive, things like that. Okay, let's see what God in the universe has in store for us for today. Okay. Oh, I like this. I take a deep breath and allow myself to relax. My whole body calms down. Then it says on the back, it does not matter what other people say or do. What matters is how I choose to react and what I choose to believe about myself. Oh my, that is a fabulous card. That is so true. And it's really true for me here on YouTube. There is another YouTuber who's maybe a little bit younger than I am. She may be in her mid forties, but she has a fabulous channel and she's super good. And her channel is growing faster than mine is. And I get a little bit jealous sometimes. And then when I get a little saner, I realize how silly is that to compete against someone else in that way? That is just a recipe to make ourselves miserable, to look at others and feel like we are less than. Ladies, we need to run our own race, fight our own battles, and just kind of stay in our lane. God didn't make us to compete with others and find ourselves lacking. God made us to take the gifts that we have and do the absolute best with them that we can and to appreciate where we are on the journey every step of the way. And as the front of the card says, when I start to get anxious, just take a deep breath and calm down, be where my feet are, and enjoy the journey. And friends, I hope you'll do the same thing too. Take care. See you next time.